Hey everyone, it's Phoebe here, and I have a great update to share with you all for our like saving project files and um, garment files as well now. So let's dive on in and have some fun while we learn. All right, so here I have a project file. And in our last release, we did this really great update where now how you have like your toggle menu and your display settings can be saved within that ZFab file. I mean, that Z, um, Z project file. We've also now done it for garments as well. So if I go to change these around, so I'm gonna go to like quality render and I like all of this. And then I'm going to hide my avatar, even though this is a garment, so it doesn't really matter. And now I'm going to go to file, save as garment. I can now go to my desktop. And I'm just going to go to a new project. And here I'll go to file, open, garment. Open this up. And it will automatically load with all of my garment settings and all of that right here really, really useful and helpful. Also, just like as a good thing to know, which I feel like is very helpful, I'm just gonna go to File, New Project. And in this project, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just, just to show you what you can do, this is like a nice little fun fact. created a really tiny pattern piece. I'm just gonna put this right here and rotate it and put it on the ground. Okay. So what I've done is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up how I want like my default to always be. Maybe I don't wanna show baselines or 3D pen. I always want quality render. And also, oh my gosh, this is actually pretty cool. I could do avatar. Let's say like, I know it's always going to be, let's just say, I know it's always going to be, that's all, add to workspace. I want it, the whole company, I always want it to be this and I'll have her. And let's even say I want, mm, no. Actually size, let's say this one. Cool. Great. All right. Now what I can do is I'm gonna go to file. I'm also gonna just delete this. I'm gonna go to file save as project naming this default display now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to settings user settings default files project project file i'm going to open this up Default display, open. Okay. And now I've selected what file will always open up every time I open up a new Clo. So I'm gonna hit close. I'm gonna exit out of Clo. And there it is. So you can set this up. So like every time you open up Clo, you see like a certain avatar, you see certain toggle menus and all of that. You just have to go to user settings default files, and then select what you want your default project file to always be. And it will, it's right here. And then you can decide that. I can open this back up and go back to my um, like assets and all of that and go back to the regular default. But 
you can honestly set it all up just like this so that you always have a certain avatar, you always have a certain view and all of that all set up for every time you open up a new file. And then again, now I can go to file, open garment and that garment with that display setting that I have will override because I'll have this box checked on display settings and I'm going to hit OK. And now the project file, that garment files display settings is going to be viewed. All set. So yeah, really cool, really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's so many great videos for you to use and like to help improve your clothes journey. Keep having fun in clothes and thanks so much.